Oh, My hey everybody. Whoa, hi. Head of the right anything agency and the lawyer. I didn't know you were going to talk. I was doing something else entirely for a while there. Ah. Huh. As for why I decided to formally get back into lawyering, let's just say there's unfinished business to take care of. You're a ghost. Anyway, I thought I'd reminisce about my first case back on the job. And what a case it was. Hmm. It hmm. happened only a few months after Athena joined our office. Hey everybody, this is Wilbitz, and we're playing the DLC for Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies Turnabout Reclaimed. This takes place in the order that I put it in the playlist between episodes 2 and episodes 3, and I'm going to shut up because there's a cut. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is exquisite. This is exquisite. <laughs> Yes! Captain Morla, he made it just in time. My Uber arrived. I called for it, and it's here at last. Wow. Pirates, we love to sail the seven seas. Just a bunch of scallywags who are as free as free can be. We swim through storms and waves all because you see grand treasure and adventures waiting just for me. Yeah! yeah! I hi fiddle dee dee. Being a pirate is all right with me. That, I think that's the like the most animation we've seen so far, and it had nothing. It's no one died actually, or did that guy die? Did that guy just die? This is usually the murder time. Did we just watch a man die? Wow. Okay. Today is my first day back on the job as a lawyer. Putting his attorney's badge on again really makes it hit home. Boy, am I pumped. Even Trucy said, looking good, daddy. Weird. So, Athena, Apollo, what do you think of the old attorney badge? You're just looking for an excuse to pull it out. Wow. This Ship Shapes Aquarium show is great. I can't get enough of it. Uh, Athena? I still can't believe they showed the swashbuckler spectacular on TV. Good thing I recorded this. Now who's ready for another viewing? Okay, good. I'm glad that wasn't the murder that we saw. Thanks for clarifying that. I actually don't like when they show us the murder because it takes away the suspense when you know for a fact who the murderer is, like it has with the last two trials. They're just like, here's the murderer, and it kind of it kind of takes a lot of the mystique out of the actual case. Anyway, who's ready for another viewing? You've already watched it five times. Let's watch something else now. How can you even suggest such a thing? This show is therapeutic. This show is life. This is the only show. Cancel all of the shows. Uh, boss here, asking you guys a question. Can we not watch TV and maybe do some work? That's what I'm paying you for. What's so therapeutic about watching a killer whale? What? Don't you know anything? Animal assisted therapy is an established psychiatric treatment. Not one that I use, but it's probably real. You're kidding. That kind of thing really exists? It's a real thing! I've been to the aquarium myself to try it, and it really helps. I just sit there and I talk to the fish and further my psychology studies. Last time I went, I saw a dolphin and an orca swimming around together. It was so... They let me know that I had problems with my parenthood and that there was parts of my childhood that I was still... Anyway. Hey! Do you think you could quit goofing off and do some work for a change? Phoenix, Phoenix, doing my... That's what we got? Yep. Uh, work, but we already cleaned the toilet twice each. Hey, wait a minute. Is that your badge I see? Wow, congrats on getting your attorney's badge back, boss. Thanks. Starting today, I'm officially a lawyer again. Sheesh, took him long enough to notice. Gee, Mr. Wright, with that badge on, you suddenly look so capable. <laughs> uh, thanks? It's not like I was some lazy bum, you know. Reference? I saw the bum costume. But what made you suddenly so fired up to get your badge back anyway? Ah, well, I made a promise to a certain someone. An important promise. Hey, drummer boy. What could be so important? Anyway, we have three lawyers now, so we better start taking on lots of work. I'm all for that! Let's get this agency hopping! 
Well, we have plenty of enthusiasm. All we need now are some clients. Hurry up, everyone in the city! Get murdered! It's been eight years since I last- Eight years?! Really? Okay, I feel like a rookie all over again. And this just in, the owners of Shipshape Aquarium, Captain Jack Shipley, has been murdered. The suspect in the case is reportedly already in custody inside the aquarium. Isn't that the aquarium we were just watching, Athena? It is! I can't believe it! A murder at Shipshape Aquarium, but everything's run so well! But I love that place! We need to get to the bottom of this! Really? Guess I'm in luck then. Oh. <laughs> I need Phoenix Wright to save my friend! No, I'm not gonna give her I'm not gonna give her a Mr. Krabs voice. How should she sound? What does a girl pirate sound like? Who in the world is this? Are you a client? You're still in costume. Put some clothes on. Wait, that costume! It looks just like I've got it! You must work at Ship Shape Aquarium, one of only two people that we've seen there, and it's a very distinct costume. <laughs> That's right! You minnow it! I'm Sasha Buckler! I perform like an agile catfish in a pirate show! It'll blowfish your mind! Minnow? Blowfish? Those puns floundered a bit. <laughs> I figured out our client's identity. Chalk up one for analytical psychology. My friends had a suspicion of matter, so I really need some help. That's why I gotta find this Phoenix Wright guy. Well, I'm Phoenix Wright. And this is Apollo Justice and Athena Sykes. They're lawyers as well. If there's anything you need, all you have to do is ask. The same goes for me too, Miss Buckler. Haha, <laughs> just call me Sasha. I'll call you all by your first names too, if that's alright. Phoenix, Phoenix, Apollo, Athena, you have to help me. Please save my friend! Guess we better start by asking her more about her defense request. Talk. Your defense request. Uh, Miss Buckler, Sasha, could you tell us more about why you need our help? My friend is suspected of murdering the captain of Ship Shape Aquarium. Captain, I thought the victim was the owner of the aquarium. Yeah, well, our aquarium has a pirate ship theme. That's why we call the owner our captain. We call the employees crew too. It is kind of like Luke. That's all right. I'm not good at I'm not good at girl nuance. I'm really sorry. That's a pretty unusual aquarium you've got there. I'm trying to make her like meaner, a little edgier. I don't know. Anyway, one of the crew members' my friend is being suspected of the captain's murder. I've already decided she's guilty. I think they're gonna give her the death penalty. What? What happened to due process? But my friend's as sweet and gentle as a whale shark. She wouldn't hurt a guppy. I know there's no way she murdered anyone, but they won't believe me. But with a name like Wright, I figured you'd be able to help me set them straight. Wait a minute. Don't tell me she picked you all because of a bad pun. Ouch, I see my reputation doesn't precede me. But seriously. My name can't be the real reason she's here. Why me? What's the real reason you picked me, Sasha? Well, to be honest, I asked a whole slew of lawyers, but well, they all refused. They said stuff like, There's no merit to taking your case, or oh, I'm not sure I can help. They're all as cruel as sharks with hearts punier than white bait. Ah. I, think I've, I think I've chosen that right. Ooh, I can really feel Sasha's frustration. With nobody on her side, she must feel all alone. But helping people like her is the whole reason I became a lawyer in the first place. And then I heard about a lawyer named Phoenix Wright. They say he defends clients to the end, no matter how bleak the circumstances. Uh, I guess my reputation does precede me. Not sure how well deserved it is, though. I thought to myself, if anybody can save my friend, it's you, Phoenix. Quite a tall order there for a man who just got his badge back. But I don't want to let Sasha down or her friend. Let's help her, Mr. Wright! Let's save her friend! That's what I was thinking, Sasha. Sasha, we'll accept your case. Y you will Oh, thank you! You're a lifesaver! Literally! 
you, uh, thanks for taking it without asking all of the uh, questions of what was going on. Just think, just grabbing it and going with it. Well, no time to stand around and mull it over things. I want you to meet my friend right away. Come to Ship Shape Aquarium with me. You got it. <laughs> now go too. Sorry, but I need you to stay here and keep an eye on the office until Trucy gets back. You never know when a new client might stop by. How come I'm the one who has to stay behind? What? Thanks a million, Apollo. Well, ladies, let's move to the aquarium, shall we? Stay behind. Bye. Bye, Apollo. Bye. Have fun being here and cleaning the toilet by yourself. We're not even going to talk to you. We're just leaving. Bye. We're just going to the aquarium. We're not even going to talk to him. As a thing. Ship Shape Aquarium. Ooh, this is pretty. I like it. We blew the whole budget. This is why you had to pay so much for the DLC. Just this one shot. It's just like being under the sea. Yeah, this is the Aqua Tunnel. Oh, pride and joy. I'm really glad you like it. I'm going to go ahead and fill the detective in on your arrival. Take a look around the tunnel, and then come meet me at the pool up ahead on the right. Hey boss, look at this cute little fish! Mmm, I bet it would be delicious grilled. Seriously? Is that really all you can think of? Well, I didn't get to eat lunch today. Oh, and here comes some grilled chicken. Wait, there really is... It's not a chicken, it's a penguin. Yeah, <laughs> Come here, little cutie. What is, what is he wearing? Cree! He seemed to say. The penguin did not come here. Penguins don't do that. If you say, come here, penguin, they're not going to. It ignored me. Maybe it was hungry, too. Oh, look. It dropped something. Our first clue. It's an ad for the Swashbuckler Spectacular Show. That penguin had a whole bunch of these stuffed in his backpack. So it's passing out flyers, huh? How cute! A carrier penguin that distributes flyers, but is scared of people. I don't know about this delivery method. We could use one of those for our office. Da -da -da -da, drop by a penguin. Why not? Well, can't keep the client waiting. We'd better get going. Yeah, you're right. Time to roll up our sleeves. We got a volleyball. Dead or alive. <laughs> we don't know what time it is. It's just some time. It took a while. Huh? I don't see Sasha. <laughs> ah, are you two the lawyers Miss Bugler mentioned? Detective Fulbright, are you the lead detective on this case? <laughs> That's right! As long as evil exists in this world, there'll be no rest for me. And who is your urchin-like, sea urchin-like friend here? I don't believe we've met. Is he talking about me? I'm the defendant's lawyer, Phoenix Wright. Well, I'm Detective Bobby Fulbright. People don't usually get to see this area. It's only open now because of the investigation. <laughs> you two are pretty lucky to get this peek behind the scenes of an aquarium. Lucky, right. This guy's even louder than Apollo. So, where's the suspect being questioned, and where's Miss Buckler? Here I be, me buckos! Oh. Eek! Ah! Ah! Shiver me timbers! There be one of the dread pirate no stashes, curvy, scurvy swabs. No stash? I beg your pardon? I'm not anyone's swab, scurvy or otherwise. More shameless than a sea lion, you be, trying to make off with me best bucko. If you want to pick a fight with us, you best bring along an army of great white sharks. Or a single gun. <laughs> no voice required. It, it went ahead and talked for us. S Sasha... What's going on here? Let me introduce you. This is the friend I was telling you about. Her name is Aura Shipley. But she only responds to Orla. Oh, that's what people call her. Oh, I'm a trainer. So it's Shamu? Shamu is our murderer? She's a suspect in the murder, but she never had anybody. Sweet. She's the suspect? Why does she have a mustache? <laughs> yeah, and thank goodness you came before they put her down. 
Oh, I'm really grateful to the two of you. I just know you'll save Ola. What? <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't even know who your client was. Uh, uh, an orca is the suspect? Our client is an orca? Is this for real? Oh, did I forget to mention that? Whoopsie. That's one very big oopsie. It's a maritime law. Take to the sea. That's all I know is maritime law. By the way, what was with that mustache earlier? Oh, it's be put on my costume for the swashbuckler spectacular. When I'll be wearing the mustache, I'll be one of Captain Orla's swashbucklers. A transformation is dramatic as a puff of fishes, wouldn't you say? I don't think I would ever say that. About anything. Not even an actual pufferfish. It's a pirate themed aquarium, so that's why Aurora's wearing a pirate hat, right? Yup. She really loves wearing hats. She puts them on all the time. But her fake mustache keeps falling off, so that's a problem. Uh, I see. Well, why don't we start with you telling us a little bit more about Orla? Talk, 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 talk. Shamu. So, you're really serious about me defending Orla? Of course I am. You're the only one who can do it, Phoenix. I heard you once question an animal during a trial, and that got your client off the hook. A couple of times, actually, if you count. I don't know, the other game is kind of uh, non canonical, I think. No way, you did that? I, uh, might have tried something like that at one point in my career. Ooh, you're gonna have to tell me about this later. Or ask Apollo for all the juicy details. When I heard you didn't discriminate against animals, I knew you'd hear me out. I have to warn you, though. I don't know anything about orcas. I, I'm vaguely aware that they are whales. I mean, they don't eat people, do they? <laughs> I'm gonna eat you! <laughs> Yikes, I think I made her mad. I won't have you talk that way in front of Orla. Orcas have feelings too, you know. Yeah, boss. They have emotions, just like we do. They have angry, angry emotions, just like mine. Sorry. Is anger the only feeling I inspire in women? Will I never know the love of a woman? No, no, move on, move on. Don't worry, she says she forgives you. Thank goodness. Besides, orcas are very picky eaters. All I hear only eats fish. The captain went to feed all of this morning, and then he was found dead in this very room. Could you tell us more about his death? That's important. We need to know about this. So the owner of the aquarium, Jack Shipley, was discovered mur murdered. Murdered. Yeah, it was about 10-10 ten ten this morning, just after the aquarium opened. A visitor was viewing the orca pool from the visitor's corridor and screamed. The orca pool is the tank here? Yeah, that's right. This pool's built so that guests can see into it from the corridor on the first floor. The security guard and I heard the scream and came running into this pool room. Where we found the captain dead at the side of the pool in his swashbuckler custom costume. He was as big and tough as an old crocodile, the captain. I oh, still can't believe he's dead. We're gonna need a refund on that immortality serum. Mr. Shipley was very important to you, wasn't he? Sorry, I didn't mean to get all sad goldfish on you. Sad? That's not a pun. That's just you saying a fish. Okay, time to snap her out of it. When it's show time, it's time to smile. That's what the captain always said. My best friend's dead. I don't care. By the way, do you know why exactly Orla is being accused of the crime? Let's talk about that. Can you think of any reason why Orla would come under suspicion? The police think Ola went berserk doing practice for the swashbuckler spectacular. But Ola would never do anything like that, right Ola? Fweet. Uh. No way! No, I'd never do it, no! Huh. She seemed to say. Oh, just look at that face! Isn't she adorable? 
The charges just have to be false. Hate to bring it to you, but the police don't usually base its decisions on cuteness. That's right, we base them on facts. Take a look at this. Whoa, he spilled his doubloons. Photo of the victim, huh? He's got a wound on his head. That's a very, that's a very sharp point. That's like somebody stabbed him in the head. Very perceptive. The victim and the orca were the only ones here. What's more, we couldn't find a weapon of any kind around. Hmm. So, what's the theory on how Orla supposedly killed the victim? They say orcas sometimes kill their prey by ramming into them underwater. We believe the orca did just that by pulling the victim into this 65-foot pool and then ramming him while they were in the water. Hmm, without any suspects besides Orla, this could be one tough case. We need to meet more characters. All right, diagram, gonna be important. Gonna reference that a lot, I'm sure. No official autopsy has been ordered, but an orca attack makes sense, if you're an idiot, which conveniently I am. Why hasn't one been ordered? Accidental death due to a failure to exercise proper oversight over an animal. The medical examiner said it wasn't a homicide, so we don't need an autopsy. So, Orla's gonna be put down without a proper investigation? That isn't fair! That's nothing short of police negligence, Detective Fulbright. You dare question my justice? The incident was determined a homicide, so there's nothing we can do, Miss Sykes. Out of my jurisdiction, I shouldn't even be here. Ordinarily, the owner of the aquarium would be held responsible for the oversight failure. But the owner is the victim himself, so all we can do is hold the orca responsible. Phoenix, isn't there anything you can do? They're gonna put all it down! Sasha and Orla are depending on me. I want to do everything I can to help them. But how do I help an orca? Wait. Yes, I can do this. I can do this. Find the real killer. Uh, any of these is probably fine, except for setting Orla free, because that would probably spell ruin for their uh, thing. I'll find the real killer. Ah, thank you, Phoenix, and I'll do everything I can to help you. Wait, just one moment. You're not a police officer or a prosecutor. You're not even officially the defendant's lawyer. You have no right to investigate. I'm not officially Orla's lawyer, huh? In that case, I know exactly what I have to do. Time to pull out my badge. Yes, I can do this. I got my badge back now, so I know exactly what I have to do. I'll defend Orla in court. Huh? Even an orchid that serves a failed trial. Even <laughs> a fair trial. Even if the one responsible for Orla is dead, then I'll take responsibility for her. You what? I guess doing crazy things just once in your career wasn't enough, huh? But what the heck? I'll take responsibility for her too. Are you too insane? This is a case of accidental death caused by an animal. It's not a murder case. With no evidence of foul play, this case will never go to court. Then let us investigate the crime scene. If we can prove this was a murder, we might be able to take it to trial. And then Orla would certainly need the help of a few good lawyers. Hmm, I guess so. But who's ever heard of a trial for a killer whale? Just because it's never been done before doesn't mean we can't do it now. But, hmm. Please, Detective Fulbright, for justice's sake! Did you say, for justice? That's the only reason I do anything. The police have determined that an animal that has harmed a human should be put down. But I don't know for sure whether that was a just decision. If your sense of justice compels you to take on the defense of this animal, then my sense of justice tells me to let this case be re-examined for possible merit. Y you mean it? Really? That's fantastic! You're not such a bad guy after all, Detective Fulbright. Just remember, this case hasn't been officially recognized as a homicide yet. I'll get in touch with the prosecutor's office, but I'm not making any promises. Anyway, I'd better be off! You two are all lifeboat! I'll be right here if you need me. 
Thanks! I've got a feeling we'll really need your help with this investigation. Really. We're still not sure if it'll go to trial, but as or as lawyers, we'll do everything we can. To get this case into court, we'll need a prosecutor to make an indictment. So we have to find enough evidence to prove it's a criminal case. There just has to be something that shows the culprit was somebody other than Orla. Hmm, Detective Fulbright, there were no weapons in this area other than her. So we better look for something to prove him wrong. I better make a note of that so I don't forget. You sure are organized, boss. Maybe I should get a notebook of my own. I'd like just like to jot down notes on the case and the court record as I go along. We can use it as a sort of to-do list. Great idea! I'll add things too, and whenever we're stuck, we can just refer to the notes. Yep, 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 yep. No jotted, let's investigate. There has to be some evidence here we can use in court. Examining the crime scene from every angle is the key here. That's right. If we change our perspective, we might come across new evidence. Yeah, yeah, I know about all this. Like that outline of the body in the far right there? Of course, talking to everybody involved is one of the keys to a good investigation. Exactly. Now, if we present items to people, we might learn even more. Right, it all boils down to thorough legwork. Well, let's get started! Alright, do we have anything? Nothing new here. So let's examine. Uh, let, da, 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 da. Let's start with the obvious thing. Oh, I can't see it. Fine, 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 fine. Yikes! Look at that huge octopus! That must be a show prop too. One of its legs is missing though. Wouldn't it be exciting to take on a huge enemy like that? I'd like to give it a try myself. As a lawyer, that is. I choose you, Octorok. You know you have an insufficient number of limbs to out-object it, right? Huh. <laughs> objection, 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 objection! That's a funny visual to me. What is this thing? And there's a huge thing of meat up there, too. Hey, look, there's an apparatus here to hang from. I don't think it's for people to hang from. It looks more like a crane to move things with. But Sasha was hanging from it during the Swashbuckler Spectacular. I bet there are all kinds of ways to use it, not just to move things. Come on, boss. Try thinking outside the box. Is she trying to say I have a narrow-minded view of things? Let's see... Oh yes, our our innocent innocent whale. Is that show makeup above Orla's eye? That's right. It's a starfish. Kind of makes it look like a punk rock and pirate, don't you think? A punk rock pirate killer whale? Ugh, it's official. Society's on the road to ruin. Shut it down. Shut it down. Well, I think Orla's one hot rockfish. Speaking of rockin', how do you get Orla to do what you want during the show? I'll give her signals with this whistle! Oh, but I didn't hear anything just now. It sounds out of the range of human hearing, just like a dog whistle. Or because they have better hearing than people do. They can even hear the whistle underwater. That's so cool! I wish I could give commands to Orla! See ya, John. Anybody can do that! All they'd have to do is learn the signals! Here, Athena, you can have one of our whistles! Consider it a present! Whistle added, I wonder how they got good animal safe waterproof makeup. Lots and lots of animal testing. <laughs> oh. Gee, thanks! As for the actual commands, I'm afraid I can't teach them to you. They're top secret. I bet they we have to learn them anyway, because I bet they're important. It doesn't look like the ladder goes all the way down to the bottom of the pool. But there's usually water in the pool, so it doesn't need to. So apparently the pool spans two whole floors. Ordinarily, visitors only get to see what they can from the first floor. But they said on TV that they sometimes give behind-the-scenes tours. Sounds like that swashbuckler spectacular show you recorded is really coming in handy. 